up guys, Phoenix here. XP50 is a cut then fraudulent plane and today I'm going to show you just how much. To be exact I had quite a nice battle yesterday. Yesterday as of the day I'm recording it. And got seven, well depending on how you count it, six or eight kills, so it was quite fun and I decided to record it to share it with y'all because why not? So as it turns out the enemy team wasn't very smart and nobody climbed. Are you fucking dumb? So I decided to go down. Well actually I think there were some guys that climbed later. Because I have seen them fighting some of my teammates high up. But uh, there was no high altitude combat as far as myself was concerned. Okay so the first spray G26 is chasing a bomber so I just knew he would be another Tunnel syndrome patient. Which means we're gonna have to remove your whole head. Don't worry. Doesn't hurt. As expected, that was pretty easy. Thank you for your service, P25. Good debate, good debate. A few moments later. With no more food high up, <coughs> as far as I could see. I decided to, uh, to go down on the P-51, which was the closest, so the easiest to kill, more or less. Well, he did uh, catch a whiff of what's going on, and he dodged at the motor trying to catch him. And so I decided to go for the key 45 which would be a relatively easy kill. As expected, I wanted to attack those guys, but I was going way too fast for this. That is that Yaku dash, but this J27, G, excuse me, the J21, I got several damage on him. Not sure what I damaged or destroyed, but it's going to crash in a while. Well, before that, however, he still has what it takes to shoot at me. I'm not sure, maybe he got the, his engine down. There seem to be two gaping holes in his fuselage where his engine is, so I think that pretty much explains it. Yeah, since I had a lot of speed advantage, I just decided to go away from them. Anyway, too many of them too high for me to tear and fight. XP-50 can tear and fight, but it's not really on the level of a Yak-9 or not to mention KI-43. Alright, eventually I could turn because the KI-43 gave up. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. And the P-51 got uh, in a position where he was an easy kill for me, since I well, had so much altitude advantage. Yeah, so he paid for his carelessness. Yeah, and this is about the time that J21 crashed as well, hence the fourth kill. Okay, so Key 43 was a more capable player, or at least uh, good enough to use the strengths of his plane. So, what followed was basically energy fighting him. One minute later. I was going to just turn when he was far enough. Unusual. Excuse me. Unusual times that's like two and a half a kilometer. But the P51 from my team appeared, giving me some chances. Well, made a bit of a mistake here while well, I'm aiming. I can't outroll a key 43 Okay, I whatever. Not sure where that Mustang went, but in the end it was still one on one. In the P43. There are still quite a few of my friendly planes left. 
quite a few of them fighters, but eventually only bombers on my team will survive. Meanwhile, it will be the opposite in their team. Yeah, the key 43 got owned by IL2 bot gunner F dude F. Yeah, we tried a head-on engagement and it didn't go too well, so I just started fighting him. That guy is an energy fighter like me, so it's relatively easy killing XP50 when you dogfight him. I really hate shooting at a single. Well, this Japanese guy isn't doing poorly. I mean, I guess he's Japanese. He's judging by the nick. But who knows? Could be some guy just using Japanese. Yeah, but in the end, 50 cars will take care of him too. It was perfect. So that's the fifth kill. Yeah, there we go. I had to turn around and he was already there. There was also a mosquito, but I wanted to take care of J26. He's a higher threat to me, especially since he's a bit faster. So I chased him to his base. Unfortunately, the PBM got killed, leaving me with only a B25 on my team. Uh, not really a problem for me. And as you can see, there's still a lot of play time left. This is because I had to chase those guys around. Unsurprisingly, he tries to take me head on. I tried my luck and dodged. Unfortunately, I didn't hit. So I decided to start the fighting him. Which fortunately for me... Okay. I thought he was trying to fight me here, but he didn't. Okay, so he did a smart thing here. He cannot uh, turn fight an XP-15 and Mosquito, so he just decided to get away. I made a bit of a mistake here, because I think I cut my throttle down thinking that he would fight me, but he didn't. And because of this, I let him get away. Almost. Unfortunately, I have no cannon ammo here. XP-50 is a big weakness is that it only has, I think, 120 rounds of 20mm cannon. And then you have to deal with 450 cars with old shitty belts. So, in the end, XP-50 is faster than a Mosquito, so I started gaining on him, but as you can see in the distance, the airfield is already looming there. So... However... As you will see here in a moment, I managed to severely damage him. Uh, critically damaged, and then, yeah, severely damaged. Just before the airfield. Well, I was hoping that he would die, but he didn't. Anyway, this is five and a half a kill, so to say. Alright, so I'm back, and uh, time is about to run out on the battle. The J26 is attacking the Grand Targets Mosquito is high up. I decided to rush and kill the J26 before the Mosquito arrives. Unfortunately, I missed him on head-on, but so did he, so I started not fighting him. So here you can see that the XP-50 actually has a slight edge over the Mustang, especially when you use your flaps. Which I'm not sure what this guy was trying to do here either. No. Maybe he was going much slower than me or something, I have no clue. Anyway, it's a 6 kill. Mosquitoes diving down on me. Now you can observe some good dodging maneuvers. Banking from side to side. If I say so myself, good. <laughs> And I got on his tail quite easily. Fortunately, he was going too fast for me to make good on this, and I didn't get enough of a lead. Still, I got a crit on him, so it wasn't bad. Yeah, unfortunately, the time is running out. Again, I did some dodging and got on his tail immediately.
platform mosquito is actually doing quite well. Yeah, as you can see time is running out, tickets are running out. Got his right flap. I ran out of the cannon ammo so all I'm doing is just scratches. Yeah, see, I set him on fire and yeah, severely damaged him just now. So because it was like one second over time the kill wasn't counted. But as you can see, he's pretty much dead here. I'm not sure if it will show up here. No, but maybe. Yeah, so as you can see, that was like six kills technically, but in practice like seven, eight kills. Well, he repaired after one. So you could also count to severe damage instances as one kill. Anyway, that's how it was. XP53 is really fraudulent. The climb rate, the air spawn, the energy retention, the speed and the turn rate, they are all very good. I mean, there are planes that are faster than it, like the P-51. There are planes that uh, climb better than it, like Spitfires and BF-109s. And there are planes that are maneuverable, like that key 43 that I didn't want to turn fight. But it's a very well-rounded. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and until the next time.